Hello and welcome to the full video tutorial of the Employee Work Schedule Tracker Spreadsheet. In this video, we're going to go through a deep dive of how to use this tool uh, and all the different features and functionality that it supports. So with that, to give you a quick overview, up at the top there's a couple of data points that you'll be able to enter, uh, one being the week beginning date. So uh, for every week that you're creating your schedule, you'll just enter in the first day of that week. Uh, your company name, and then the department that you're in charge of making the schedule for. And down at the bottom you have, uh, along the left side, all the different employees that you're going to be uh, creating the schedule for. It supports up to 45. Uh, and then each day of the week you're able to enter in the time in and time out. Um, and then you also have the payroll info. Uh, so their hourly rate that they're being paid, how many hours they worked, that'll be automatically calculated. Uh, and then the total payment that they're due for that uh, week of work and that also is automatically calculated. So to run through a little bit of an example we'll say the week is beginning on October 18th and our week actually begins on a Monday so what this spreadsheet allows you to do is select any day as the beginning of your week uh, since it might be different from company to company. So we're able to change that to Monday and that automatically updates all these other days down the line. Then we'll enter in a couple of example employees and a few example schedules. So 7 a.m. Uh, we'll say to 5 p.m. Uh, and if make sure you follow the same format. If you're doing a half hour or a 15 minute mark, just make sure to do the number, the colon, the number, and then whether it's a.m. or p.m. So we'll do that for a couple more days. Okay, and then for Sarah, let's say she actually has an overnight schedule, and this spreadsheet has also been built to account for daytime as well as overnight shifts. So let's say she actually starts her shift at 7 p.m. and works until 5 a.m. Uh, if you look to the right, you'll see the total hours starting to calculate, and you can see that that's properly calculating the total number of hours she worked from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. And we'll do a couple more days. Okay, and then again, you can do that for up to 45 employees. Uh, and then it's automatically calculating now the hours that they work total that week. And then you can enter in what their hourly rate is. And then you're able to easily see how much payment is due for that employee. Thank you for watching and feel free to reach out in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you.